hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i'll show you a new vs code alternative which is quite fast it's called as eclipse thea ide so it is developed by the eclipse company and uh, it's available for cloud and desktop versions it's totally open source you can visit their github page so if you don't want to use github you or oh, VS Code, you can definitely try out this. It's got almost 21,000 stars on GitHub. So there is its download button which is there. It's available for cross-platform, Linux, Mac. So simply select your operating system, click the download button and it's round about 328 megabytes. So the size is, I think it's similar to VS Code but I personally tried this IDE which is quite fast. It has all the functionalities of VS Code. You can install extensions as well, plugins, third party plugins. So just wait for the downloading to complete. It's around about 328 megabytes. And it's basically developed by Eclipse, which is a very famous company for IDEs. This is the name, Eclipse, if you just go Eclipse, just search for this, you will see this will come right here, the very first link, it's an open source cloud and desktop IDE. It's not a fork of VS Code, that's why it's a great alternative. So. And if you see if it's free, so it's totally free and open source software project similar to VS Code. So it's not a paid solution at all. So once you install it inside your system, it is completely free. So so just wait for the installations to complete. So when it completes, it will launch automatically the setup file. So now it completes, you will run the setup file. Select and 867 megabytes, a minimum space required here for this. So the space requirement is similar to VS Code. VS Code is a little bit larger, around about uh, 2 gigabyte. This is 867 megabytes. So now after installing it, you will have this finish button, simply click on that and then it will launch this IDE. If, if it doesn't launch, you can also search.
basically installs right here you can go to this location if it doesn't launch automatically simply copy this location and paste it so this is where it is installed simply you just need to manually click the install and then it will launch so some applications automatically launch but this one you need to explicitly click and then this will launch this is the IDE so you can see that so this is a welcome message and here you can open any folder it's similar to VS code some UI design you select the folder that you want to open so after you select the folder the files will get opened you can create a new file this will look something like this so you can just name your file so you will basically get all the auto completions which are there so I think it works similar to VS code but little bit faster and it is having this light thing so you do have this option to extensions and control shift P opens your command palette so all the shortcuts are similar to VS code so these are your extensions you can actually install any third party extension you can see all the so this live preview extension is also available in VS code so it's similar to right here as well so simply click install and this will install this extension for you so if you are looking for an alternative you can definitely install this it's completely free Eclipse the IDE and uh, some things are little bit different but majority of the things are similar to VS code how you actually generate or uh, write code so definitely check out this this is the live preview section So thank you very much for watching this video and also check out my website freemediatools.com uh, which contains uh, thousands of tools.